everyone, this is Steve Maynard with Guardian RFID. Today we're gonna to talk about contraband. I'm just gonna give you a few pointers on how to locate it and what to do when you locate it. So what is contraband? It's something the inmates or the individuals or the residents in your gated community cannot have. It's something they didn't purchase on commissary and it's something you, the officer, did not issue to them. That's contraband. So how to locate contraband. Now, when you're conducting your everyday security rounds that you conduct every hour, every 15, 30 minutes, you're not just only looking for inmates and their well-being and checking your head counts. You're also observing the cells, observing the inmates and seeing, is there any contraband? Is there any extra items that they're not supposed to have in their possession or in their cells? When you're looking inside of a cell, you know, you're supposed to look in, look for the rise and fall of the inmate's chest, make sure they're breathing, everything is fine. But while doing that, also look into the light fixture. Is anything sticking out? Is the light fixture missing security screws? Is there something maybe taped under the top bunk? Or you go inside that cell to, to do whatever, maybe it's a cell search. Look for things underneath the rim of the toilet underneath the bunks that could stuff could be taped underneath underneath the desk or the seat that may be inside the cell i'm telling you they're very creative people always flip through books and make sure there's nothing in there because that's what they see on movies but contraband can be hidden anywhere especially a razor or something sharp or tattoo needles shanks drugs that's the things we, as corrections officers, want to find. It's something about boosting our morale when we find that job done, mission accomplished, right? So you're conducting your rounds. You're also looking for what? You're looking for contraband. Now, inmates out in the day rooms, inmates out in the rec yard, pay close attention to them. Now, if they're standing there in the corner and they've got their arms closed, you know, the, it looks like they may be trying to hold something, you know? Or you notice them walking and they may be like this. They may have contraband in their, in their armpits, holding it in, or sewn into their jumpsuits or the button line in their boxer briefs, sewn into that. You know, they can cut little holes, slide contraband in there. I'm telling you this because I've seen it, especially with inmates who are institutionalized, who are in and out of your state facilities or your fed facilities. These guys are smart. They're very, very intelligent when it comes to hiding contraband, possessing contraband, and getting contraband into the facilities. So be looking for it. That should be a goal to find some sort of contraband daily. Uh, get it out of that facility. Now, what do we do when we locate this contraband? If it's extra items, if it's extra toilet paper, or you know, get it out. Throw it away outside the, the housing unit, of course. Don't throw it away inside the housing unit because why? They're going to get it back. They're going to go through the trash can and get it back. Don't put it on the officer's podium inside the housing unit. Why? They're going to get it back. Document anything and everything that you take from them. I don't care if it's an officer's pen that has been missing and you found it or an extra roll of toilet paper. Document what you find and what you take. Now, if it's drugs or if it's weapons, this is the stuff we want to find and get out of our facility. But not only get out of our facility, we want to charge that individual we found it on, right? We want to make them know that it's, we're not gonna tolerate it in our facility, we mean business. So wear personal protection when dealing with any contraband, anything. You should be wearing gloves really 24 seven while you're inside a facility. Get that contraband out, if it's drugs or weapons. Document is very, very important. Documentation is very, very important. Get it out, do your reports with Guardian RFID, use that Spartan, take a photo of that contraband or a video of that contraband explaining what it is, where you found it or who you found it on. Perfect documentation that's gonna be there in that cloud forever for court purposes, because why do I say court purposes? We're gonna charge these individuals criminally when we find this stuff in our facilities. Zero tolerance for that type of contraband, zero tolerance. And that's my preference. 
And I hope that's your facility's preference. That is my tips on contraband. Very, very simple. How to locate it, what to do with it, and that's it. So until next time, stay safe.